Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the second Sunday of Advent, year C, 2021. On this Sunday, we read our first reading from a prophet, a scribe that is not often mentioned. Our first reading is from the book of Barak. And it is Jeremiah that helps us to understand who Barak was. In chapter 36, verses 4 and 32, Jeremiah chapter 36 speaks about the personality of Barak. Jeremiah tells us that Barak was his secretary. Barak writes down the prophecies of Jeremiah. So Jeremiah dictates his prophecy to Barak. Barak documents the prophecy, some of the prophecies of Jeremiah. And I think this tells us something very important. Barak, being a scribe, working hand in hand with Jeremiah the prophet, this tells us something about who we are as children of God and what we are supposed to be doing as children of God. What are we supposed to be doing as children of God? We are supposed to be cooperating with one another. We are supposed to be spreading the good news of God. And so if Barak uses his skill as a scribe, as a writer, to document the prophecies of Jeremiah, today, I suggest that we meditate on Cooperation Sunday. What is important about Cooperation Sunday is this whole idea that talking about God, writing about God, is a collective responsibility. We must cooperate with one another to bring about the good news of Christ, proclaiming the kingdom of God. And so Barak today tells us in his personality that cooperation is very important, that you and I are very important instruments of God, that the gifts that we have, we must use to promote the good news of the kingdom of God. And so, how does the first reading relate with this idea of cooperation Sunday. Barak writes about the good news of the children of Israel returning back from exile, coming back home, the joy of coming back home. Our generation today is experiencing the pains of migration. And sometimes we migrate to other countries and sometimes we remain stateless. We remain economically impoverished. More or less, we remain slaves in these new lands. Imagine the joy proclaimed by Barak in the first reading of today. Sons and daughters returning home where they have dignity, where they have respect, where their humanity is valued. But there's a side of the story that we need to talk about. It wasn't everybody when offered the opportunity that returned to Israel. Some stayed put. Some never returned from exile. Some made exile their home. How is this important for today? Yes, if Cooperation Sunday invites us to take responsibility and have stakes in the proclamation of the kingdom of God, the good news that the Israelites could go back home, for some it was too demanding, it was too tasky, so they remained in exile, while some others took the opportunity to return home, never minded the challenge that awaited them, but the joy of the good news of returning home, to rebuild home, was their strength. Now, Two themes coming out of the first reading. Cooperation Sunday, and by implication, the courage to face the good news and proclaim it to other people. 
When we go to the Gospel of today, we see something similar. The good news of the Kingdom of God. For it to be proclaimed, for the preparation for this Kingdom of God to arrive, a voice, the voice of John the Baptist. Now we begin to see cooperation again in the Gospel. John cooperates with the message of the Messiah, accepts to go ahead, play his own part, preaching and preparing the coming of the Savior. If Jeremiah prophesied and Barak used his skill as a writer to document the prophecies of, Isaac, of Jeremiah, if, if Barak writes to us about the joy of returning slaves and of course others who stayed back and couldn't take the challenge to face their freedom and come back home john the baptist tells us that we may not be as smart or good writers like Barak, but our voices could serve as tools for evangelization the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. Let valleys be filled in. That tells us that we all have stakes through the gifts that we have to promote the kingdom of God. Now the voice that cries out in our gospel reading, it is Luke who documents that for us. So Luke, the author of the Gospel of Luke, from which our Gospel of today is taken, and the author of the Acts of the Apostles, uses his own skill as a writer to document the life of Jesus Christ and the Acts of the Apostles, the missionary journeys of Paul. Now, in addition to Jeremiah prophesying, Barak using his gift to write, Luke using his gift to write, and now we come to the voice of John the Baptist preparing the way. Eventually, John will baptize people from where his name, John the Baptist, came. So you see that each one has got a role, provided we want to have stakes in the evangelization of the world. The voice crying out makes it clear that you and I have stakes. Because the valleys to be filled in, the mountains to be made plain, these are our responsibilities today. Jeremiah, Barak, Luke, John the Baptist, they are all gone. They play their part. It's now yours and mine to play. We have to take over from them to continue this good news of the kingdom of God. But what is the kind of spirit that should animate us as these agents of proclamation of the gospel? That is where the second reading of today is very important. Paul divides the first reading of today, the second reading of today from Philippians into two. The very first part of it, Paul says to the Philippians, you and I, as the Philippians and himself, are partners in this proclamation of the kingdom. They are partners. They share in this responsibility. Paul makes it clear to them the stakes are high, but everybody has got a part to play. In the second part of the first reading, second reading of today from Philippians, Paul says, we preach because we share, we are partners in this gospel, but we must transform our lives and make it worthy of the gospel that we preach. So, we preach, our lives have to conform to what we preach. We have to be other Christ, made visible in the world today. Cooperation Sunday, use your gifts to promote the kingdom of heaven. Cooperation Sunday, 
Some could may chicken out because they may find it difficult. But those who stand on the side of God, those who accept to use their gifts, these are the partners. And those who have accepted to remodel their lives, to accept the forgiveness of sins and not waver, not look behind, march ahead, working for the gospel. Look at how we prepare for the coming of the Savior, how we cooperate in making sure that the kingdom of God arrives. And so as we prepare and journey towards Christmas, let's use our gifts to promote the kingdom of God. Above all, let our lives testify to this gospel and make it come alive again today. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.